Curtis, what's good, man? You and your feelings about Daphne? Is she with gang them? Or is it that you sucking little rod? <laughs> However it go, I want you to fade. Man. All that. Since it's entertainment, let me beat the shit out of you on TV or something. Don't duck that. I'm calling you out. What you want to do, Curtis? Curtis! What's up, everybody? This is the world famous Ed Lover, and you are watching Forgotten Kings TV. That's right, Forgotten Kings TV. Come on, son. Earlier today, 50 Cent responds to his baby mother being mentioned in the recent Diddy lawsuit. That's right, y'all. According to reports, producer Lil Rod made some changes in his recent lawsuit against Diddy. According to Lil Rod, Diddy had a couple women on payroll, and of course, 50 Cent's baby mother Daphne was mentioned in this lawsuit. As we all know, 50 Cent, he's been dissing Diddy a lot over the years. In countless interviews, you know, 50's, you know, taking shots at Diddy's sexuality. Uh, 50's went as far as to say that Diddy offered to take him out shopping. So we all, you know, are very familiar with 50 Cent's shots at uh, Diddy, right? And it seems like every time Diddy's name come out in the headlines, 50 wastes no time. So of course, once reports came out saying that 50's baby mother was mentioned in Diddy's recent lawsuit, you already know 50 Cent this morning took to IG to respond with the post that reads, I didn't know you was a sex worker. You little sex worker, LOL. Yo, this shit is a move. Not long after, 50 would then make a post sending shots at Stevie J. For those who may not know, Stevie J's name is also mentioned in this recent lawsuit against Diddy. So of course, Stevie J is saying, look, enough is enough with the Diddy jokes. Since you always got something to say, how about we just step in the ring and box it up? Seems like Stevie J is tired of all the Diddy jokes after seeing what Diddy went through this week. Of course, we all seen federal agents outside of Diddy's crib, uh, kids in handcuffs. I mean, this was a crazy week, right? So of course, eventually a lot of people assume that Diddy was on the run, uh, you know, trying to dodge federal agents. He left his kids behind just to see this picture right here showing him being questioned by federal agents, right? They, they went ahead and locked up the white boy, but they never arrested Diddy, right? Then we seen video footage of Diddy right here at Miami airport. Uh, again, the timing of this video, I'm not sure, but you know, at that moment, once the world reacted to the video of seeing his kids in handcuffs, everyone assumed Diddy was on the run. But here we are, a couple days later, and still, Diddy is a free man. So now, I'm confused as to what was the purpose of the raid, right? We all here to, you know, the feds have a conviction rate, 98%, right? They always say when the feds get involved, you know it's over. However, I haven't seen any evidence to prove that Diddy is guilty of all of these claims we've been hearing, uh, you know, over the weeks, over the years. Uh, essentially, it seems like they came up short. And I, I hope that isn't the case. Embarrassing this man, humiliating his family. I mean, this has been a crazy week. Now, when it comes to 50, I'm still trying to figure out what is the issue between these two? Now, of course, some would say Diddy slept with 50's baby mother, but me, I, I'm not convinced on that, right? I feel like there's more to the story because you see pictures like this of 50 and Diddy joking and playing around, you know what I mean? To now, 50's just celebrating this man's downfall, right? And, you know, I get it. You know, when you got beef with somebody, you know, it's beef forever. I understand that. But to celebrate Diddy and what he's going through right now, I mean, come on. You, you can't be a black man, right? 50 in the position that you're in. What makes you think you're, you're protected? Come on. All it takes is one allegation and then you in a situation that Diddy's in, right? And the funny thing is, Jimmy Iovine was uh, mentioned. <laughs> you know what I mean? These allegations earlier this year, of course, it was dropped. But the point is, you didn't see 50 make one post about Jimmy Iovine. And, and the accusations against him. He was quiet as a mouse, but when it came to Diddy, listen, he wasted no time. Man made about 10 posts just reacting to the news of Diddy and all of the controversy. Like I said, I get it. You know, beef is one thing, but to sit here and celebrate the downfall of another man, knowing that any one of us could be in that position, knowing that, you know, it's not five years from now, not 10 years from now. Yo, they'll wait until you like 85th. No more shows, no music or nothing and get you up out of here. So this is why we gotta be mindful when we celebrating the destruction, the downfall of some of our people. Now listen, this doesn't uh, condone any of the accusations, but again, innocent until proven guilty. And when you black in this country, <laughs> listen, they don't have to have any evidence. They can make it up as we go along and we know that. So just to see 50 going at Diddy 
every every damn day it makes him seem a little obsessive so now we got stevie j offering to run the fade with diddy will this happen Look, i don't know you know what i mean benzino offered to box it out with 50 he never responded stevie j now i mean come on you know what i mean he'd be in the gym so i'm curious to see what 50's response will be i'm sure he will respond later today but y'all let me know man what are your thoughts on stevie j calling out 50 cent to step in the ring for a boxing match after 50 constantly uh you know what i mean poking fun at uh diddy and his situation now he's mentioning stevie j let me know your thoughts on all of this down in the comment section below but that's all i got for y'all today my name is sensei rip till next time peace carisha to bmf now too <laughs> yeah yeah she's working on the bmf series and then you know city girls up like a month <laughs> did you do that just to fuck with diddy no 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 that was a. uh that was ahead of uh, the the thing with Daphne or whatever like that. I don't, but y'all, man, I ain't kissed in the mouth in ten years, man. Somebody got to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs>